Thanks, everyone, for being here today. It is so, so important that we're able to have this discussion. And um, thanks to my colleagues for showing their support as well for live. So 15 weeks, folks, 15 weeks. Um, we all know, and science has proven, that after 15 weeks in the womb, these babies have a fully developed heart. They have fingers and toes. Uh, they have arms and legs. Uh, they can kick, and they'll even jump if they are startled in their mother's wombs. And certainly, they feel pain. So science has developed through the years, and as we see this new science and technology developing, they have taught us about pregnancy and unborn children. And I think as a mom, when I found out that I was having a child, the, the words that came out of my mouth were, we're having a baby. That's exactly what that child was in my womb, was a, a baby, um, not even at 15 weeks. So we really have to update our laws to be reflective of the new science and technology that allows us to know and understand so much more about these human beings that are in their mother's wombs. The Mississippi law, and I am so grateful that this case is coming in front of the Supreme Court, the Mississippi law is going to save lives. And it will allow voters in pro-life states like Iowa to make those decisions and protect the most vulnerable people in our society, and those are the lives of the unborn. And in spite of what our Democratic colleagues might say and those in the liberal media, over 80 percent of Americans believe that we should not allow late-term abortions. There need to be restrictions. Um, and certainly, uh, I know that I speak for all of us, we're all very proud uh, to have this case come forward. I, as a mom, I'm a proud advocate for life. I always will be. And again, I'd like to echo what so many have already said, but we, we pray for the justices. We pray for America. And in the upcoming months, we uh, pray for a sound decision that will follow the science. Thank you.